Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another technology tutorial. Today I want to talk about how to build a compound interest calculator in Excel. So we're going to utilize everything that we have learned from the first lesson, uh, which is on uh, how to put formulas into Excel. So make sure that you have seen the first lesson if you haven't seen that already. So what we're going to do is put in compound interest calculator on the top left hand side of the spreadsheet so we know what we're trying to calculate. Now the first thing we're going to put in is the principle which is how much money we have in the beginning. Now you can imagine right now that we're saving this money in the bank. Okay, so we have the princip principal and we also have the interest rates per annum. Okay, so for example, let's start with saving $2,000 in the bank at an interest rate of 5% per annum. Okay, now we're going to put this information into the spreadsheet. So in cell B6, I'm going to put in the year. Okay, so we have year one, year two, year three, year four, and so on. Okay, then we have the principal at the beginning of the year. So how much money you have in the bank at the beginning of the year. Initially, we start with uh, the $2,000. Okay, so I just pressed equals and I move, I use the arrow keys to move the box to cell B3 and I press enter. So now this uh, cell refers to cell B3. So whatever number that I update in cell B3, so for example if I change this to 2300, it will automatically update cell C7 as well. Okay and then the next thing I do is I calculate how much interest I earn during that year. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to equal the principal at the beginning of the year times by the interest rate which is 5%. So that year I'm going to earn $115. And then what's going to happen is at the end of the year how much principal I have. Uh, end of year principal and that's going to be my principal at the beginning of the year plus the interest that I'm earning okay so this year originally I had two thousand three hundred dollars I add on five percent which is a hundred and fifteen dollars and I ended up with two thousand four hundred and fifteen okay and then in the second year I will start with the principal that I have at the end of the first year. So I press equals E7 and now that's the principal I have at the beginning of year 2. The interest that I earn will be equal to the principal at the end of the second, sorry, at the beginning of the second year times by the interest rate which is B4 and then the end of year principal will equal the principal at the beginning of the year plus the interest and it's 2535. Now you must be asking the question, well do I have to keep entering this every single line? And the answer is no, you don't have to keep doing that. All you have to do is you can highlight these three cells and you can see that there is a black solid dot at the bottom right hand corner and all you have to do is drag that dot down and you can see it automatically fills all the cells. Now here is a big problem. You can see here that an error has occurred and that's because when you select some cells and you fill down what Excel does is it looks at the formula that you have entered in the cells and you can see here I have E7. 
So what Excel does when you fill down is Excel keeps the uh, letter the same so E will still be there but it increases that number uh, by one every row so you can see here in the next box it says E8 and we have E9 okay so that part is okay because our principal at the beginning of the year is going to equal the principal at the end of the previous year so that is okay but if we look at the interest um, so when we fill down you can see here I'm uh, originally doing the principal which is C8 multiplied by the interest which is B4 so that is okay but when you fill down it's turned into C9 times by B5 now there's nothing in B5 so we want to change this B4 somehow so Excel knows that when we fill down we don't want it to change the number 4 we want to make the number 4 stay there so I'm gonna lock it to that cell by putting a dollar sign in front of the number 4 and then when you fill down so I'm gonna fill down and you can see that all the errors are fixed because now every formula is now referring to this box so it's the principal multiplied by the interest rate in this box okay so this is now working as well so that's what the dollar sign refers to it refers to absolute referencing okay which means that uh, we don't adjust the formula when we are filling down okay now let's look at the end of year uh, principal so we're just getting the principal from the beginning of the year plus the interest gives you the end of year principal so once you have uh, filled down a few cells what I'm gonna do is I highlight the bottom two cells and I just keep filling down because Excel now has an idea of what I'm trying to do so I can fill down to 25 years and you can see here approximately if I save okay instead of 2300 I'm gonna just gonna save a thousand dollars so you can see the impact so if I save a thousand dollars and the bank gives me 5% interest per year then what's going to happen at the end of 25 years is I'll end up with $3,386 okay so for those of us that understand the maths quite well this interest rate is compounded yearly okay if you want to do a monthly interest rate you'll have to change this to months and then uh, you'll have to make other adjustments but right now this is a interest calculator based on the fact that the interest rate is compounded yearly okay thanks for watching guys see you next time